All right, guys, check it out. We're here in Crawley Ted's garage with probably what's got to be the coolest lineup around the table that we've had so far. I mean, this is crazy. I saw, I think it was a picture of this, and then I think I saw a picture of this on Facebook, and it was like, wow, that's cool. And the hydro dipping thing, of yeah. course, hydro dipping. It's They're not painted. These are hydro dip, right? Yeah. You and uh, Buddy? My Buddy Devin, yeah. You guys do this hydro dipping, yeah. So I saw these on Facebook and it was like, wow, it would be nice if this guy would come over and show off his stuff. And uh, so here he is. And he brought more than I expected. So look at the range of vehicles and colors. It's just amazing. Like these things look really smart. Myself, when I thought of hydro dipping, I thought of just a, a, a mix of colors all over the body. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. I look at these and every one of these has a pattern. There's a, there's a theme to them all. It's not just random colors. No. So how do you, how, how does the process work? What's the... Well, you basically got a tank and you lay this really thin film over top. Like oh, in the tank? In the tank and it floats on top of the water. So it's water? Yep. Well, some water, but distilled water. You know? Okay, I see. But then you take your body, whatever colors you want underneath, yep. and you slowly dip it in. And the film sticks to the paint. Okay. And then you got to be careful when you pull it out because the stuff is really, really like paper thin. So one mark like this, and your whole dip is. Oh, done. okay. So you got to remove it carefully slowly, from the water. Yeah. Okay, it takes I a see. Lot of skill to do it. That's for sure. Okay. And he's he's got it. So when you pull it out of the water, then let it dry. Let obviously. Let it dry, and then you clear coat it. Anything special for letting it dry? No, nope, just, just let, let it, it sit out. Let it dry. Then you hit it with a clear coat. Yeah. And that's why it looks just so BAM awesome, eh? Like, oh, yeah. man, oh man, Jay, you'll have to do a close-up of all these, eh? It's just amazing. So, okay, so that's really awesome. So you just get different patterns, you lay them in there into the, the yeah. distilled warm kind yeah. of water. I've seen some DIY stuff, to be honest, and I had talked to Jay that we should maybe try this, <laughs> this home hydro dipping thing. So, but now, like I say, I'm, this is way different than what I expected. Like. Every one of these, this is a good theme, by the way. Right? I really love the Yeah, you yellow like one. that theme yeah, too, I right? do. <laughs> it's awesome. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's a gooder. I like this too. Very zombie apocalypse kind of, you know? Nice. It looks good. Hitting people. Oh, bitten people. Nice. All right. So, uh, and then, so what do you got going on over here? You got a couple of sweet rigs and then a lot of lids, eh? Yeah. This one's chassied up too. So, Take a guess, how many of these do you think are hard bodies and how many do you think are Lexan? I was surprised myself, i got to admit. So yeah, right now, slow up, stop. How many are Lexan and how many are hard body? Okay, how many are Lexan and how many are hard yeah, body? One Lexan and six hard bodies. One Lexan, six hard bodies. I didn't know. I, I would have left the people guessing. Yeah. <laughs> Put it up in there the comments. Go. We'll tell you in three That's months. That's pretty awesome though. I'm amazed that they're all hard bodies. So, but beautiful, eh? Lots of uh, detail and, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. And so I was asking you, so Lexan versus hard body, uh, the hydro dipping process. It's reversed. It's reversed, yeah, but it's, it's, it's just as good and just, just as, as easy. Yep. Okay, I see. And you could still like mask your windows and stuff. Yep. Do you, oh, yep. and pull, okay, interesting. Because Very cool. the film is wet when you pull it out. Nice, nice. It, it's amazing. I think it's a really cool process. Like, even the radio is hydro dipped. I, can, I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see. It's subtle, but it's there. That thing is totally different color. Am I good there? Can you? Can you make uh, that? she's kind of shiny. Yeah, that. there we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Awesome. So, what do you got going on over here? You may as well tell us, like, this right here. What's this beast? SCX10. SCX10 under there? What it started as, yeah. What it started as. <laughs> and now what do you got going on? And it's got two speed transmission, vanquish axles, vanquish links, waterproof servo, 17.5 turn sensor system. Nice. I run it on 2S. That's awesome. And look at the pattern on that thing, eh? Like, that's just crazy. This truck is beautiful. I see he's got the representation on the back there. The, the stickers, he brought a couple stickers with him tonight. Arch and uh, Demon Art Customs, is that what it is? Yep, on there, and we've got both of those up on the board too. 
So does the lid just pop off? Yeah, you can pull it off just the white bar. Oh, oh, there we there go. go. Look at that. Yeah, a little bit of weight to it, eh? You can tell yeah. it's a hard body. So if, obviously, look, he's running the loops. One too many RCs, light bar. Same with the bumper and stuff. There's a in there. Oh, is it? Nice. nice. There you go, eh? Yeah, he's definitely got the lights, eh? Oh, yeah. Sweet, clean. Look at that. Nice, clean build. Wow. Awesome, man. Oh, I love them sliders. Whose sliders are those? Uh, I got those from Bill Brad. No. Oh. 50 RC. Wow. Check that out. They're tough. Those are beautiful. Nice. And shocks? Full droop. Full droop, yeah. And whose are those? RC World? Yeah. Okay. Basically the same as a G transmission. Gotcha. Nice. Beef, eh? All aluminum parts here and here. Yep. Tranny, of course, has got to be built, I assume, right? And what are you running for diffs under there? The uh, Vanquish. And Vanquish. It's got heavy duty gears in there. It's got a little beef to it. Oh yeah, she's a yep. tank. See that? Well, it's good, eh? I like my trucks heavy. Yeah, more, for sure. More it's, traction. Yeah, it stays planted today. Yeah. Eh? yeah, definitely, I hear you. I go slow anyway. It's, <laughs> it's a total beast. Yeah, I like it. No, that's really nice. And this body just sets it right off. So is there any order that these bodies have all been done? or uh, I got my Lamborghini done first. Yeah. And then I got my truck done. Okay, I see. And then these ones are a mixture of this one and this one. And okay, this one. I see. Just all over it. Yeah. Man, just crazy. I can't believe the pattern. So what do we got going on here? Uh, Security 3. Security 3? Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, is it going to come off? Yeah, it does come off. And then you got to slide the body forward. Yep, you gotcha. Go. Nice. Okay, I see. Oh yeah, hey, smart, eh? Yeah, I don't like the body holes too much. See what he's done? Now, who is it that had the funky body mount here in the last week? I can't remember. Was that Casey? I think that was Casey Jones. Had that funky body mount system on right. his rig. But check this out. See the rod ends mounted in here? And then see the little uh, posts? So the rod ends slide over the posts, and then the front clips into the foam bumper. I into the foam bumper. I got it cut just right where you got to push it in. Wow, that's a nice body fit, man. That's really trick. I like that. So where'd you get this body from? I got it from a guy Ryan here in town. And so this was this is an eco. So this was a, a toy. This yep. was a, a hard body toy. You can see where the original mounts have been removed. <laughs> you use the rear ones, obviously. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this would have been like a Canadian Tire or, or a Walmart, Toys R Us, Toys R Us um, you know, cheap, junky uh, yeah. RC, yeah. right? So talk about excellent use of the body. I mean, to have a hard body drifter, that thing's just beautiful, right? And I even had the mirrors, the spoiler, and the rims hydrated on that car too. Nice. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the mirrors are done. The spoiler. And the rims match the carbon fiber too. They were white. Wow. That is amazing. That looks so cool, eh? So what do you got going on in here? Uh, just a secure D3 kit. Okay. Sabox servo for a little bit more speed. Yeah? Your four channel ABC receiver. Nice, nice. And just your typical brush system. Excellent. So you're going to be part of the drift scene that's going oh, down yeah. at uh, Arch. Yep. Yeah, right on, right on. Yeah, yeah, that's how we go right now. So is the crawler courses. Yeah, yeah. And awesome. I think Chris and a bunch of other guys just picked up a bunch of rock too. So. Cool, cool. Right on. Well, that's good. Yeah, that'll be awesome. I know there's a lot of guys that, uh, you know, drifting is one of those things. If it's there, they'll come. You know what yeah. I mean? But if there's no place to go, then drifting kind of falls out, right? That's but why it, it only makes sense. You know? Yeah. you got to have a place to do it because it's, yeah, it's just one of those things. But awesome, man. I'm not even going to try and put that yeah, back I on. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Okay, well, that's awesome. So, okay, so those two are uh, are some uh, a couple of kick-ass rigs. So now, these bodies, they have a chassis, or you just do bodies uh, just because you do bodies? We just love doing the bodies. I guess, right? Some of them, if people like a display after they take it off, they have this. Like, we do some of the, the body parts on here. You see that? Part of the chassis. So when you're not using the body, you can lay it back on the original. So this is a hard body as well? Yep. 
So where did that hard body come from? Uh, same guy I got the lemon. So again, is that from a toy? Yep. That's just crazy. I can't even believe that. I can't believe that it fits so perfectly. Oh yeah. And you came up with the mounting system. Yeah. And how does that one mount? Well, this was just a regular toy still. So we used the original chassis as a, a display. Oh, for the body, right? it's the original see? chassis. Okay, I just see. A cheap toy gotcha. So okay, so that is the. Put it under Excellent. The whatever. Wow. That is that's just amazing. I'm blown away. And this, yeah, to add the detail, that just sets it just off. Just a eh? little bit extra, For right? sure. So again, and here's another one. And, and again, just another hard body. Yep. So and what do you got here this time? This is another Lamborghini. And again, just a, a toy that you've yep. improved upon. <laughs> oh my God, it's still got part of the, a lot of the interior parts and stuff. Like you can tell, yep. you know. But why not, eh? I mean, it gives you a nice... Uh, Nice thing to work with. It looks amazing. I like this thing. Wow. We even got the part around the speaker. Yeah, that's just cool too. Like again, same thing, right? So look inside there. See how clean it is around the speakers and everything. That is amazing work. Even kept that Mercedes decal up front, of course. Trying to Very get nice. Many of the chrome parts and things like that. Chrome Check out stuff. these decals we got. Gonna send him off with a couple for his drifters. Hano Circuit, Joey Hano on Facebook. Check him out. He's got some cool vids representing the drift scene down there in New Jersey. Cool dude, man. Probably got those upside down. Yeah, I was sorry, gonna man. say sorry, bud. Ted. Yeah, sorry, the upside Directional down. Directional challenge. And so here, <laughs> here, obviously we've got a summit lid. This thing looks cool. I love it, man. Look at that. Crazy, eh? So this one is your buddy's rig. Yep. Evans, yeah, his personal truck. Nice. And so same thing. You've just laid a pattern into yeah. the. You just picked a pattern and dip it. So you pick the pattern that you want and you print it on a really thin. Yeah. Is it like? Or so you, it's like you get a roll of it sometimes too. It all depends. So it's like rice paper or what? Pretty much. It's thin. Super thin, super thin. thin. Super thin yeah. And you color print it. Yep. Well, some people print them. Yeah. But we just really like to pick up the rolls that are already pre-cut, so... With color? Yeah. So you pick up the, the, the roll with the color in it. So when you float that, do you have to add color or it has all the color and everything? It has color in yes. the dip itself. Yes. But if you want like a, a shadow effect or a slightly different color like this, we paint the body first. To give it some effect? Yeah, to give it a little oh, bit Oh, I that's see. That's why you see some is lighter. Hydro dip secrets, folks. Gotcha. No, that's cool, man. I see. Yeah, so like the, the two-toning and stuff, that is that must be a process. You have yeah. three different things going on in that this one. I couldn't tell you how we did that. Gotcha. That but it's got to be involved. Too. It's actually yellow. Is it four different things because of the more red here? Right. One, two, three. Like, you know, like this thing's really nice. This looks awesome. I'm, wow. But anyway, so for a summit lid, that's pretty darn cool too, eh? Yeah, that, and that that's was, uh. That one was not on the outside, just because he wanted to change it. Yeah, I hear you. Oh yeah, right over the original, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, so that's right over the original. If you didn't like the original yellow, yellow, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think this was yellow. So I have an old yellow one. Huh? Interesting. If you didn't like your original yellow summit body, now you can fix that. You can paint it with whatever color you want. And this one. Again. That one's uh, kind of a Vegas style. This theme. thing's wicked. Yeah, exactly. Great theme on there. Yeah, very nice. And uh, so again, it's just a, another toy. Yep. The wheelbase will match something or it's close enough that you can modify yep. it to make it work. And it's just a matter of coming up with a mount. But it just goes to show, right, if you got a body, they can probably do something for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, so. Can you ballpark a guess on what something like this costs, or what? Uh, between 50 and probably 150. Some of the more intricate ones will okay. be a little bit more, right? But yeah, yeah, okay, well, that's good to know. the paint, the clear coat, the dips, everything. Gotcha. You just basically got to pick what you want. Nice, nice. Okay, see, so there you go. So, and it saves you all the time and hassle of doing the prep work and the paint work and everything else. <laughs> if you're like me and you're just, you know, pretty basic at that, I, I'm never very fancy when it comes to painting and stuff because it goes bad. So, yeah, I really like the, did I mention I like the theme on this one? I, I love it. I think we mentioned that, yeah. 
So you, who came up with this thing? Uh, he had it already, and when I seen it, I was like, that fits real well. <laughs> it does fit a drift. Dude, Michael, Michael Dixon on Facebook. Your buddy has a Facebook, Facebook page, yourself and your buddy, to do with this. What is it? Uh, DP Customs. DP Customs on Facebook. Make sure you check him out for sure. And Michael Dixon, you post some pretty cool pictures and stuff too on Facebook, yeah. right? So, Also, what did you bring with you? A couple of stickers. Arch. If you don't follow Arch on Facebook, you should. Check it out. Alberta Remote Control Handbook. Arch. they got tons of stuff going on. Arch on the rocks is going to be a crawling, drifting facility yep. uh, located at the Vape Depot, yep. I believe, uh, yep. off of... 30 seconds. Off of 32nd Ave. So you guys are rocking it out. You got some rocks. Yep. Things are starting to happen. You've got some cool drift cars. You're good to go for this whole oh, yeah. scene. Excellent. So thanks for the decals. Demon Art Customs. Yep. The yep. friend of mine who makes custom parts for trail trucks. Wow, dude. Come on, right? Custom parts for trail trucks. Like right what? down to a full tube chassis. Wow. There's so many guys doing custom stuff around town right now, it's crazy. I see you got a couple of nice details on this rig. Check out the one too many light bars, Jay. One too many RCs, you know you're ready for the trail when you got a one too many light RCs light bar on there. <laughs> nice uh, rubber mirrors, those are great, eh? Uh, your snorkel, where's that from? Uh, I think it's just a generic cheap one. Just a generic cheap one, though. Looks good. I love the hitch. Check it out, man. He's got his hitch stored in a mount back here for when he needs it because you know you hate it when you bang your shin on that thing it hurts mm -hmm. now he's got it covered even awesome. if you have a tennis ball on it have a tennis ball on it to try <laughs> and protect part of your shin while the other part's bleeding uh-huh yeah thanks a lot jay you're welcome okay and uh so he's local uh, High River Local. High River Local. So it's That's local. 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 It's, yeah, it's they they local still get guys. country music it's, down there. It's, lo <laughs> <laughs> it's local guys again. So there you go, man. If you want a body done, let them know because uh, they can hook you up and get this done for you. Um, tons of options with colors, eh? Oh, yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah, we should have the Christmas lights up already, Jay. The Christmas lights would have been uh, awesome over this. But uh, yeah, so for sure. Hit them up again. DP? DP Customs. DP yeah. Customs on Facebook. Hit them up. And uh, get yourself some, cover up that old summit lid maybe, you know? Or uh, do something new and fresh, get ready for 2017. So, yeah. Michael, thanks a lot for coming out, man. Yeah, I'm glad you came by. Glad I spotted those on Facebook. Um, looks good. Just great work. I, I, I'm always impressed by the, the talent of the local people. There's so many locals around us that are doing very impressive stuff, whether it's paint work or, or hydro dipping or building cool stuff or, or just whatever it is that they do. There's lots of them out there. So I hope you enjoy watching them because there's lots more of them out there. I'm going to try and get them all over here for you to watch. So thanks for coming by. Jay, thanks for working that camera, man. You're and welcome, keep, buddy. And for keeping your clothes on this time. It's, it's <laughs> hot. It's hot Thanks back for here. watching CTG, man. Have a good one. Awesome, man. We'll see you next yep. time. Thanks, guys. <laughs>